Here we have a 2018 Jaguar F-Pace. And the trim is a 30T premium. This one comes in Ferenz Red on ebony leather interior. And it has that two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. And it puts out 296 horsepower, 295 pound for the torque. There's that beautiful front end there, along with your daytime running lights. There you've got your 19 inch aluminum wheels. And up here you've got your power windows, power door locks, or excuse me, your power windows and power mirrors. And then down here you've got your power door locks and up to three settings for memory. Got a Meridian sound system. And then down here you can control your power hatch and your lane departure. And the driver's seat is power. Gonna hop in the back here. So not bad leg room. My feet are touching the back of the seat, but my feet are able to fit under the seat with plenty of room, so that's good. And over here, you've got your rear AC vents, and then you've got one USB, two USB ports, and then you've got a 12 volt here. And you've got two speakers in the door trim for the rear. And there's a nice view of the rear end there. And there's your trunk space. Then to fold the seats down, just grab here, pull down, and fold back up. You've also got a power passenger seat here as well. And there's your leather wrapped steering wheel. You've got your buttons over here to control your gauge cluster. And then over here, you've got your cruise controls. And there you've got your navigation system. And there's your backup camera. And there's your home screen and you can control your climate from the front here and then you can control the temperature down here and you've got dual zone automatic and there's your push button start there and then you can control your volume and the power of the radio using this knob here And over here, you've got your shifter. It's a rotary knob, so you just turn it. And then to put it into shift mode, you just press down and turn. So I think that's pretty neat. I like how they put the emblem on there. It looks real cool. And over here, you've got your different modes you can choose between. You've got dynamic, normal, eco, rain, ice, and snow. 
you can toggle your traction control on and off and you can toggle your auto stop on and off and here you've got your electronic parking brake just pull up to put it in gear and then you press down to disengage and there's your key fob pretty similar to your Range Rovers And here you've got little storage in the center console. You've got a USB port, aux input, and then you've got an SD card reader for your navigation system. And then you've got garage door transmitter here in your rear view mirror. And then you've got a nice sunroof there. Then you've got your glove box with your owner's manual. Got a nice little Jaguar pin here too, I like that. And then looking at the gauge cluster, got plenty of options to choose from. And you've got these paddle shifters which we're gonna try out on our test drive. And finally, Gonna take a look at what's under the hood. So there's a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine.